So today we're graphing log functions. Uh, your goal is to graph log, just regular log, log plus b, and then with the c in the brackets as well. Okay, so translations, dilations, reflections, lots of different things. Um, so you need to be able to graph it, but you need to also be able to translate label as well. Okay, so that's the bit I want to emphasize, labeling it properly. All right, Shh. can you please just pay attention? I want to be clear on the type of working out that you would need to show. Okay, so this is a sketching question. Okay, so you need to show what the x-intercept is. You need to show what the y-intercept is. And you need to explain or tell what the asymptote is for sketching. It also asks you to do the domain and range, but that's just for sketching. You need to intercept y and x and the asymptote. So x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. Hopefully you remember that. If you want to get rid of the log, what did I tell you is the opposite of log last lesson. So if this is the new equation, remember I said you can do whatever the base is as the base. Okay, and then that eliminates the log and you're left with e to the 0 equals x minus 2. Okay, anything to the power of zero is one. That's why x equals three. So x intercept is three, zero. If you want a shortcut, you can just remember this. Um, where is it? There. The x-intercept is 1 minus c. But what could happen is you could have, I don't know, other stuff happening, so it could change to not just x-intercept equals 1 minus c if there's other things. This is called a combination if that happens. Okay, so that's why I wanted to show you that process there, so you can at least determine the x-intercept using algebra, okay? The y-intercept is when what equals zero? Yep, and if we sub in x, what happens? x equals zero, sub that in. Can you have log of a negative number? No, so it doesn't exist. It never crosses the y-intercept, okay? Last one is the asymptote. So when does the asymptote occur? We can just use this. We can just use this cheat, if you would like. x equals negative c. What's the c value in this equation? So x equals positive 2, okay? Negative C. The C is negative, so it becomes positive. Does that make sense? All good. Just ask if you're not sure. Okay, and now we can sketch it. So we have, that's the type of working out that I expect. These three points. Oh, I didn't even, oh, it doesn't exist. Those three, I need to see somewhere to get those three marks. You don't have to do this algebra, but I expect to see those three, okay? You can go back to the questions if you would like, or you can watch me slowly draw it. Okay, so it's limiting at x equals 2, so it looks something like that, okay? You can see how I've labelled the graph as well.
So you can draw X. See how I'm labeling the asymptote? Please make sure you do that. So that's natural log, which you may have been asking about. Any questions? I didn't state the domain, so what's the domain and range? Anyone want to guess? So it goes from 2 to infinity, and the range is, we can just use some Set notation, the range is capital R. Hopefully you remember what that is. Real numbers, yeah. Okay. Any questions? I just thought I'd go through one example so you at least got the idea of the working out that I expect. Those circled parts and this graph with the labels. Okay. If it was tech 3, I suggest doing something like this for the working out. And if it was tech active, you don't have to do that algebra. Right?